I just want to thank everybody for all their very encouraging comments. Thank you so much. It means a lot. And uh, I actually had a request. Tammy requested that I do a video on products. Like what products do I use now? Do I use anything different than I did before? And yeah, I actually have changed um, product lines. Um, so I'm going to share that with you now. Um, so I was using Pantene Pro-V Moisturizing Shampoo and as you know when you color your hair your hair shaft gets destroyed in the process and it gets really rough and scaly and so then you have to use uh, things that have a lot of moisture in them um, a lot of products with waxes and silicones to kind of get that hair to act like normal hair to be smooth and I don't know if you've noticed this, but you color your hair and it looks great for the first couple days and then it starts kind of getting frizzy and weird towards the end of the 30 days before you recolor again. And that's why, because you have a damaged hair shaft. Well, now that you're going gray, you will notice that your hair is going to be normal <laughs> and it's going to be smoother and you can probably feel it as you shampoo and the, the longer it starts to gray out, grow out, the more you're going to see and feel the difference. So what I did was I stopped using the Pantene conditioner. I used the shampoo and then I towel dry my hair, get out of the shower, towel dry my hair, and then put a few squirts of this Aussie Hair Insurance Leave-In Conditioner in. And this would give me a light conditioning so it wasn't all heavy and there was not a lot of waxy buildup and I was able to do that for a while. I'm going to link all the products that I'm showing you today down in the description bar so you have the prices and where you can purchase them at as well. So I did that for a while but then I noticed the Pantene shampoo started to build up in my hair as well. It started to look lifeless, a little bit too heavy, kind of weighted. You could feel the product building up in there and I thought oh man I just uh, I need to change. So I got some samples for some shampoo at Whole Foods and I used the samples for a couple of days and I loved the product and so I went and purchased the product and here it is. It's the Giovanni 5050 Balanced Hydrating Clarifying Shampoo and the matching conditioner. And as you, if you notice, I've used a lot more of the shampoo than the conditioner. And that's because um, I don't need that much conditioner anymore. It's just not necessary with that virgin hair. That hair shaft is nice and smooth and it really doesn't need a lot. Um, I love this shampoo. Um, I, it's all organic and it's, um, it's pH balanced and it's sulfate free. I'm sure you've heard of sulfates. Uh, they're actually chemicals, uh, detergents that they put in body soaps and shampoos to actually get everything squeaky clean, but I, they over clean is the problem. You don't really need a detergent and maybe to wash your clothes, but not to wash your hair or your body. And so a lot of companies are catching on and they're removing those. So you'll see a lot of products say sulfate free. That's, that's what they're doing. So this is a great product. Um, it's all organic, like I said, and no animal testing, hundred percent vegan. And I love it. So, um, that, and then there's a tip um, that I like to give you with the shampooing. So I shampoo and I wash out with normal normal warm water and then after I condition I wash out with slightly cooler water and the reason for that is is the hair shaft tends to swell under hot conditions and contracts under cold conditions. So in order to get more man manageability and kind of close down that hair shaft because it's kind of porous um, it works better if you rinse out the conditioner in cool water. Now, um, I don't know if there's a difference um, between well water and city water. I mean, there is, but I don't know if it's a difference for, for people with gray hair. Now, if, you're, if your hair is gray and it's starting to yellow, then you'll have to handle that. Um, and it could be the water... Um, but it may not be. Um, I talked to my sister. She's a hairdresser. I think I mentioned that before. 
and I said, you know, I'm using this clarifying shampoo and I just haven't had a problem with my white hair turning yellow. And she said, well, I think that, I said, do you, could that be related to the fact that I'm using a clarifying shampoo? And she said, absolutely, because the yellowing is actually a buildup of some type. And um, so if you do have the yellowing, you can either A, talk to your hairdresser. They have products, natural product, products that have enzymes in them that you can request um, that are only available to people with a beauty license and that they can use to strip out and get your hair um, back to that nice brilliant white unless you like the yellow. Now there are some people who are going gray and they like the, the that their gray is kind of yellow and it kind of makes them feel like they have like light blonde hair. So that's fine too. Um, another thing you can do for the yellows, you can cancel out the yellow by putting purple shampoo in. Um, and so you can get this product, which is called Shimmer Lights, and it's a Clairol product and it's available at Sally's Beauty Supply. They said that this is the best one. Now I just purchased this and I haven't used it yet because I haven't needed to. Um, the clarifying shampoo is working pretty, pretty good. I also found out that actually with the blue shampoos, you're not supposed to use them every day. You're supposed to use them like once a week or three times a month or two times a month. So, but this was the best one. And the reason I asked her, I said, well, why is this one better than the other two you have on the shelf? And she said, I'm going to show you here. That's because it's, see that it's really purple. It's more purple, pigmented purple than the other ones. So um, that's why she said this was the best, the best one. And so you can get that and that will cancel out the yellow, but you do want to clarify. You want to keep that beautiful virgin hair shaft clean and free of the silicones and the waxes that are in a lot of products. So that's why you're not going to need a lot of that, that heavy product. Um, another product I'd like to tell you about, which I mentioned in an earlier video, was the Pantene Air Spray Alcohol Free. This is the level two, it goes up to level five. I tried the level three and I didn't like it. Um, and the reason I like to recommend this product is because it is alcohol free and it won't dry out your hair. Or you can try hairsprays with maybe argon oil or something like that. You know, now that you have beautiful virgin hair, um, you wanna keep it nice and in good shape, you know? And this, this, this will give you some control, but not overly so, and you can run your hands through your hair, and uh, it's a great hairspray. So if you get it at uh, Walmart, I believe it's like $5, $4.96. If you get it at CVS, you're gonna pay a little bit more. It's like seven bucks there. And again, I'll put all this down in the description box. Um, the last product that I would like to show you is Garnier Fructi Style Brilliant Shine Glossing Spray. Sleek finish. Um, I really like this product because gray hair is, there's nothing wrong with gray hair. What gray hair is, is it's just lacking the pigment. Um, there's an enzyme uh, that your body creates in the hair follicle that um, mixes with other things in the hair follicle which give your hair color. And so basically when you go gray, it's basically losing its pigment or color. And so the color um, does reflect light, uh, like if you have golden brown hair and then it reflects light. But if you have silver hair, and I'm not saying that silver hair doesn't reflect the light pretty because I feel like when I go outside, I feel like I have a crown of diamonds on. I really, really do. But this helps to put the shine back in. It, it makes your hair feel better. You actually physically, you can feel, you can run your fingers through it. It's not like a hairspray. It's not, it's wonderful. And you'll notice, and you don't have to use a lot. 
like one spray on top, one on each side, and you're good to go. And you'll see there'll be a shine already. And if you step out into the sun, you will see it even more. And it also helps to tame the little gray hairs that are kind of fly away. So you might want to use a flat iron um, on this part of your hair because sometimes gray hair can be a little wiry. And um, so if you use a straightening iron, right here at your scalp and pull it out and smooth it out first and then after you use your hairspray and everything then this then this is what you want to use after that this is kind of like a finishing product and it will give your hair that youthful um, shine it seals in the moisture it makes it soft glossy and manageable it's got some argon oil in here and I think it's a great product for five bucks you can't beat it you can try it and if you don't like it you can return it and you know that's a great thing too about uh, Sally's Beauty Supply too you can buy a product there you may want to try some of their other products for silver hair um, you can use them and if you don't like them as long as you have your receipt and you return it in the time allotted they'll give you your money back so it's not a problem and I haven't had a problem with Walgreens or CVS either if I buy a product and I don't like it um, I take it back you know so um, give it a try see if it works for you see if it's something for you everybody has a different hair type I have very thin hair some people have um, much thicker hair um, and so you just have to try it and see if it works for you. But this is this is what works for me. I will put them all in the description box below with the prices. And then you might want to get yourself a microfiber towel. So when you get out of the shower after you towel dry, then put either one of these turby, I think you've seen these, these turby twist things that you put on your head. Um, if you have long hair, you know, while you're putting on your makeup, you can put this on. It's made out of microfiber and it will absorb all the excess water so you don't have to use such high heat settings on your blow dryer and then when you do use your blow dryer you can if you have a cold shot button on your blow dryer you know after you're done blow drying give it a cold shot smooth that hair shaft out and uh, that'll keep your beautiful gray virgin hair looking gorgeous so um, if you're on the gray journey I encourage you to keep going um, it gets better and if it doesn't get better, you can always reach for that box of color or get your hair colored or get some um, some highlights, low lights or or highlights in it um, to help you to uh, get through the journey. And that's it for now. Thank you so much. Uh, click subscribe and we'll see you next time, maybe with some uh, hair tools and appliances that you could use with your gray hair. Thank you so much.